Hello, and welcome to Region Locked. If you're not familiar with Sega's Yakuza series, you're missing out on what is essentially the spiritual successor to Shenmue. Typically, these games are set in modern day Japan against a backdrop of crime and melodrama, with a mix of action and absurdity. But did you know, the series doesn't always have this setting. Released February 22nd, 2014, Ryu Gagotoku Ishin was the standout title for the PlayStation 4. Developed by Ryu Gagotoku Studio, Ishin was planned to be a crossover game that would bridge between the console generations. Ishin was released to critical acclaim on both PlayStation 3 and PlayStation 4, and it received an almost perfect Famitsu magazine score of 38 out of 40. The title was even featured in Japanese PS4 launch trailers. Set in the late 1860s, at the end of Japan's Bakamatsu period, the game follows a fictionalized version of Sakamoto Ryoma, one of Japan's most prolific figures. Ryoma was one of the central people in restoring the emperor to power and uniting Japan under a single ruling system, while also guiding Japan into the modern age. Hunted by the men of the shogunate, known as the Shin Sengumi, he was assassinated at only 31 years old. Ishin starts by introducing you to Ryoma the day he was supposed to die, but instead you wind up in the shoes of his would-be assassin. This assassin is revealed to be none other than Ryoma himself working for the Shinsengumi. The Shinsengumi were fiercely loyal and calculated, making them feared by the common people of Japan. It's worth mentioning at this point that every character in Ishin is modelled after someone from a previous Yakuza game. This allows the game's writers to tell a more familiar story of Ryoma using established characters' charms and personalities. Sakamoto Ryoma himself is played by Kazuma Kiryu, the main protagonist of the Yakuza series. And since the game is set over 100 years ago, the team included an in-game dictionary to explain the antiquated terminology and social hierarchy. Ryu Gagatoku, Ishin, at a glance, plays like all the other Yakuza games, with few changes besides the setting. Kiryu's typical fist fighting is replaced with Ryoma's four different fighting styles. Hand to hand, sword, gun and wild dance. Players jump between each style on the fly, and they can all be upgraded over time. The more a player uses a specific style, the more the stat points are unlocked for that style. The main story is broken into chapters following Ryoma's secret double life. He sets out to find who framed him for murder, attempts to clear his name by infiltrating the Shinsengumi, and works from the inside to bring his father's killer to justice. The more he finds out, the deeper the rabbit hole seems to go. There are sub-stories that often put Ryoma in comical situations and lead to either a chase battle or fight. Rewards are given for overcoming these confrontations such as a new animal in your farm, a new soldier card, or just money. Most sub-stories impact a friendship mechanic where you can return to an NPC multiple times to raise a friendship meter. By completing requests for them, you'll earn materials for use in equipment crafting. The game mode Another Life gives players the chance to live out their life as a simple farmer through a stripped down farming simulator, and the battle arena allows you to fight your way through a 100 man match. You can take on hordes of enemies or take on a series of challenges to earn rare items and cash. One of the little known features about this part of the game is the online integration. This integration allows players to duke it out on Twitch, cheered on by the live chat, which gives stat boosts to help in battle. Period specific minigames were added in as well, including chicken races, fan dancing, visiting a brothel and even working in ramen shops. The biggest new feature is the Battle Dungeons. These are optional mission-based levels designed for players to grind and unlock materials to craft better equipment. The gameplay is a little different from the main game, as you'll need to collect soldier cards you can assign to Ryoma. These give him passive abilities to boost his attack, health, or give buffs to weapons. There are over 200 cards to collect, and each of those cards have their own individual leveling and fusion system that can increase stats. Most of these minigames can be played for free on the PlayStation Vita companion app released alongside the game. So why wasn't this highly regarded game brought over to bolster the West's PlayStation 4 launch lineup? A lot of it has more to do with the sales numbers of past Yakuza titles and fan expectation. Yakuza Dead Souls released two years earlier in America to abysmal sales. 
Western senior producer Yaz Noguchi left the company and the English release of the previous title, Yakuza 5, was abandoned by the publisher. It's always been a strong belief by its creators that the Yakuza games would not be understood by a Western audience. The history of Sakamoto Ryome is something that most Japanese people know about. He's a national hero and the Shinsengumi are often depicted through various forms of media including video games, books, anime and even dramas. Outside of Japan, however, this part of history is largely untold. Sega's CCO and the creator of the series, Toshihiro Nagoshi, mentioned in his behind-the-scenes book, Destiny of a Dragon, that this series only exists because of its focus on a Japanese audience. He offered to resign if the first game didn't sell well in the local market, as long as he was allowed to double down on the Japanese setting. From his perspective, the games were simply never meant to make it to the West. Sega's Ryu Gagatoku series has also had a strange relationship with Western fans. The first two games were PS2 exclusives that came out as the PS3 was releasing, content was cut from the English version of Yakuza 3, souring fans, and Yakuza Dead Souls faced an exceedingly poor reception. Sega is also notoriously bad at marketing the Yakuza games, with most of the Western public thinking that they're just a Japanese GTA or not knowing that the series exists at all. It wasn't until Adam Boy's and Geo Corsi's hashtag building the list campaign that Sony would partner with Sega to bring Yakuza 5 westward. The building the list initiative essentially asked players what game they wanted on the PlayStation platforms, focusing on re-releasing of older games, ports and localizations. One of the most requested franchises seems to have been Yakuza, leading to Sony's involvement and the game's eventual distribution outside of Japan. Considering the low sales of the franchise, it's hard to imagine that Sega would risk localizing anything besides the core, numbered Yakuza titles. Those holding out hope for an Ishin release in the West are likely to be disappointed, much like the samurai-themed spin-off Kenzan and the PSP-exclusive Kyoryu titles, Ishin will likely be one of those forgotten titles that remains exclusive to Japan. If you enjoyed this video, maybe you'd like our video on Ninja Gaiden. You can check it out by clicking on the annotation on screen now. For this video, the script and game footage were created and captured by the guys over at Yakuza Fan. If you're interested in learning more about Yakuza, be sure to check them out. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up and maybe even subscribe to keep up with future videos. My name is Greg, and this has been Region Locked. We won't be streaming this time around because we don't have the game, but how about you follow us on Twitch or Twitter and we'll keep you up to date with our future endeavors. Cool.